you know, data migration, as Pato was going through, uh, it can be complicated and you got to make sure you do it correctly. But obviously a very important aspect of a data migration process is to make sure that the data you actually have is clean, it's hygienic. And it, it's not as easy as it seems. I, I mean, I think something we've learned with this COVID-19 times is, you know, it's important to wear a mask, but how you wear it, where you wear it uh, is important. It's the same thing with hygiene for email. You know, it's not enough that you're doing it. You got to make sure that you're doing it correctly. And, and that's for a variety of reasons. You know, practicing good list hygiene is not just removing emails that are undeliverable, but it's also focusing on the ones that are deliverable, but toxic. And, and just more of a, a statistic, uh, last year, bouncing emails rose 37% from Q1 2019 to Q, uh, Q1 2020. So that increase in bouncing emails that's popping up so making sure that what email addresses you have in your database are cleaned and continuously cleaned is increasingly important so if we look at you know our next slide you know there are many bad email addresses and it's kind of speaking to what i was saying before where it, we, you know we're not just focusing on what you can send to and removing the ones that are undeliverable, but it's the deliverable but toxic, the deliverable that but dangerous email addresses that could really do you harm for both your account and your sender reputation. Now, before I go too deep into that, let's talk a little bit more about the kind of costs of poor email database hygiene. So if we go to the next slide. So poor email database hygiene. So email addresses that un are undeliverable are worthless. I think that kind of goes without saying, but if you're not getting the bang for your buck, if you're not having the actual email address you can send to, it doesn't really mean much. You can't make any money off of it and it's a, a waste for even having it. But I, I think the, the thing people overlook quite a bit is having bad email addresses uh, hurts your bottom line. And the ones that you can send to can do that in, in increasingly dangerous amounts. So Something as simple as a typo, bogus, disposable role accounts, or as dangerous as spam trap can be quite detrimental to your campaign. And I think a lot of people don't think about is how good addresses can go bad. So just because you practice good hygiene, you know, during a data migration, right? You go through the whole effort of making sure that your list is clean uh, and is safe to send. But if you don't keep on it and you don't keep tracking the actual email address and whether it's good or bad, um, it eventually does go bad. Uh, in fact, up to 6% of good email addresses turn toxic each year. And just one of these could sink your entire program. So it's really important to stay vigilant and constantly scanning your list and being alert for when deliverability threats come up. So let's go on to our next slide. And so I, I think I've talked a, a decent amount about this, but you know, it, for bad email addresses, what's the cost associated with them? Well, they'll mess up your campaign metrics. They're going to make it hard for you to get an accurate view of what's really going on with your campaigns. It's going to make it harder for you to reach the inbox. It's going to help. It's going to waste your money. And it's going to potentially get you in trouble with your customers if they're getting something they shouldn't be getting or they're not getting anything at all when they really wanted it. Uh, and honestly, most importantly, if you send to the wrong one, you run the risk of uh, blocking or being blacklisted in your entire email program is going to come to a halt. So without practicing good hygiene, a lot of these bad things could happen to your campaign or to your account. 